And now, while well, I'm back here for this. <sighs> Was the ball a disappointment, madame? The prince, despite his being well born and raised by our great Lord Protector, showed the most appalling manners. Appalling. He spent the entire evening talking and dancing with some little nobody. And how did Gabrielle and Charlotte do that? The prince has fallen in head over heels for someone else. If he keeps this up, I may not want to have him. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on in his highness's thick skull? The way If that woman had any morality or sense of what is right in this world, she would not have appeared at that ball at all. But can you imagine what she must have felt, arriving at the ball and meeting the man of her dreams? I cannot, for my mind has no place for the puerile or rape. Well, I can imagine it, I think. I can imagine it. 
say the, well, whatever you call it. The only thing I have to comfort me after this disastrous evening is that the prince seems so completely devastated when his dream day ran right away. <laughs> oh, it was hilarious. The powder room was full of yammering when we were leaving. Why did the girl run right away? My feeling is that up close, she was physically on the feeling. <laughs> so then, my lovely daughters, Cinderella, you stay here and clean up this big style of the parlor. What's that pumpkin doing there? It makes no design sense. Is there anything else you'd like to know about the ball, Ella? No, but I'm sure it's marvelous. I only wish I could have been there. How would you know all of this happened this evening? Oh, I just imagined it. I supposed it. Had a vision. Interesting. Wait, how many fingers? Two, three. Fascinating. Where are your visions now? Oh, come on, you're just picking on me because I saw the prince wearing a gray jacket. You didn't say it. And he was. Something's going on here. You're being absurd. More than usual. I'll go back to tending the... Let me help you with that. Your hands are so callous and rough from work. Just like the hands of the girl I shook the ball this evening, who danced with the prince. I don't know. It was you, wasn't it? I... How did you dance in my shoes? Oh. Away I flew, but I... 
Second, the woman is not that long. This realm is the myth. Seems to imply she has to please for everything. The second, she ran off. You want to dance with any of the other girls? Sebastian, are there poor people in this kingdom who have had no land taken from them? If there were, I would tell you. Do they need our help? Everyone's going to be sure. If you want to stop, what did you hear? The girl. I'm not sure she can trust them. Please, come back to the castle. The work is tired. No, something isn't right. As you say, the ring, sire. Oh, right. Sorry. What are you sending this time? Nothing, sire. Hardly worth wearing your beautiful mind. Let me read it. I should explain before. I'm reading this on my own. Your future majesty. Let's go back to the castle. Allow me to drop some coverage. <laughs> you don't want to. I'm reading this now! Thank you. But that will be all, Sebastian. I'll ask you if I need anything. Explain. Oh. No. Sebastian! Sire, I can explain. How could you do this in my this lifestyle for you. Without my watchful eye, you should be a pauper. Would you like that? I want that girl. The girl who talked to me. I want to talk to that girl. A troublemaker. We're having another ball. A banquet. And she'll come to that. She won't show. This is lunacy. She will come. We're having a banquet tonight. And you are inviting everyone in the kingdom. Don't forget who you're talking to. And don't forget! Talking to. Now, we're having a banquet tonight, and I am finding that girl. Very well, sire. She won't come. You don't even know her name. And if she really thought you were worthy of her high ideals, she would have stayed. Now, wouldn't she? A banquet! Ride the one he lost in the ball. So spread the word throughout the land. The prince is throwing a banquet. It is his wish that the woman he met at the ball will attend. As for the rest of us, well, what can I say? There's gonna be a ham. Talk back to me. And of course, I want to keep an eye on what women are there. I am not giving you control this time. Spread the word! They're right here, Madame! By 
Can you tell me you have this dog's foolish child? Sure, they pace, and those shoes are delicate and dainty. My feet burn with the heat of a hundred miles. The carriage awaits. Oh, madame, my stomach. I must have eaten something that disagrees with me. No, no. This cannot prevent me from going to the banquet tonight. You go without me. Let Charlotte meet the prince and steal him from the holy throne of the ball. I think Let Charlotte become queen. I think I can make that work. I shall do this battle with only half my troops. Cinderella, fetch the physician. If Gabrielle is feeling better, send her to the castle immediately. Gabrielle, get better. I insist on it. Keep your invitation. Thank you. I'll come if I feel. Not on the dress. Charlotte, the carriage awaits. Quick, you knock at the door. I'll go change. It knocked back. Then open it. Good evening, Ella. Good evening, Jean Michel. I am sick of hiding in the shadows like a fearful person. Well, would you rather see Madame? Hiding is nice. <laughs> How are you? Well, I am wound up like a tick. Me and Gabrielle are going on our date. Our first responsibility is the very one. And we shall go to the green grocer and <laughs> beg him for whatever scraps we may have. Then we shall slave over a hot stove and serve a meal to the very poorest. I do hope she's not expecting that with fun every night. Oh, it sounds like a wonderful date. I'm excited. <laughs>